afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amanda Shepard, and welcome to another episode of Play Along Practice. This is a yoga YouTube channel where I just flow and try to instruct as I go. And if you'd like to join in, please do. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there is um, a subscribe button on my page and probably one under the video. I'd love that. And um, thanks for playing along. Welcome. There are also some options if you are interested to uh, support me doing the COVID-19 shutdown. Um, all right, welcome. Today we're going to work on the chest and the shoulders and the neck, all right, um, per special request. And you're going to want a strap, a nice long one. So if you don't have like a proper yoga strap, maybe you can uh, use a, a necktie, all right, like a necktie. Um, that would be a good option. And we're just going to start sitting down, grounding into the sits bones, crown of head to sky, sitting up nice and tall. Just let yourself drop into your practice. I did have some feedback uh, telling me it was hard to hear me sometimes, so I'm going to try and keep the uh, doors and windows closed so we don't hear any traffic. And I'm going to try and keep my enunciation as uh, clear as possible. Um, it does get a little challenging instructing while you're moving, so there's that to consider. Um, sits bones ground, crown of head to sky. Let's take a nice deep inhale here in. Exhale through the mouth. Just readying practice. And let yourself drop in, feel the support of the earth. And become a witness of your breath and start to breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe start to cultivate that yogic breath that draws from the belly up through the chest, exhales from the chest down through the belly. It moves through the body like a wave, nice and even. There are no riptides. Let's just take your hands to your heart. Doesn't matter which hand is on top, either one's fine. And just breathe from the belly up. Really feel the chest expand. Hold at the top of that chest nice and full. And then when you release, as you exhale, just feel the chest move back. A couple more breaths like that. One more. Finding a nice even pace. And gently open the eyes, drop your shoulders down, and drop the right ear off to the right. Extend the left arm so you can um, feel the scalenes on that left side. your next inhale come back through center bring the elbow in I want you to look over your right shoulder and see if you can really turn the neck as much as possible sit up as tall as you can and then bring the chin down to the chest over to the other side and go the other way maybe one more time With your inhale, look forward. You're gonna bring your left arm behind you, reach the right arm across, find a nice simple twist. Back 
back through center, a little counter stretch. And then see if you can take your uh, left hand to the outside of the left foot and just start to open that hip a little bit. And maybe rocking the baby, maybe swaddle the baby, sitting up nice and tall, keep that inner knee away. Breathing here. Dropping those shoulders down. Good. As you exhale, you're going to switch the feet. Bringing the other foot in front. Drop the shoulders. Drop the left ear off to the left. Extend your right arm. Make sure you're sitting tall. And you can feel the difference if you round your shoulders. You don't get the neck stretch. So keep that. Try to stay connected to your breath. It's really the most important part of your practice. Take your inhale, lift up through center, let your right arm relax. Look over your left shoulder as far as you can. Bring the chin down and go across the body and to the right and the other way. Maybe one more time each side. And look forward. And I want you to take your, uh, oh, you're gonna reach the right arm behind you, left arm across. Spread your inner shoulders, sit up tall. Maybe shake your head, yes or no. Little counter twists. Counter twists are only, or counter uh, poses are only about halfway. They're never as far as you can go. And then see if you can find the outside edge of that right foot. You can also take your hand to your shin if that's too much. My foot is very flexed. I'm just going to rock the baby. And then I might sit up nice and tall and swaddle the baby. Breathing here. Good. Bring that foot down where it was. And then I'm going to interlace the hands behind me. Sit up as tall as you can, lengthen all four sides of your waist, and as you exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Drop the shoulders down. You should feel this going down um, like the erector spinae, all those neck, neck muscles, and down into the uh, top of the traps as well. The more you drop your shoulders down, the more you're going to feel it. The taller you sit. Good. Inhale back up through center. Just let your hands come nice and easy. Give yourself some shoulder circles. And go the other way. All right, move your shoulders anyway. That feels good. And I'm going to come off my seated system, my blanket. That's what that is. And I'm just going to bring the right ankle on top of the knee. This is very accessible for my hips. If it's not accessible for your hips, you're gonna bring the right shin in front of the left, so you're sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose. So Sukhasana or double pigeon. Right arm forward, left arm on top. Give myself a giant hug. Drop the shoulders down, lift the elbows. I might stay here, this might be enough for my shoulders. Maybe I'm gonna bring the palms together. For guard asana arms, lift the elbows, draw the pinkies away and lengthen the body forward. So you might feel this uh, right outside your right hip. You might feel this right between your shoulder blades. Can you shake your head yes or no? With my inhale, I'm gonna reach the crown of the head forward and up. And as I exhale, I'm gonna unwind the arms. Right arm out to the right, left arm reaches up. Absorb those ribs in. And then try to maybe square your chest towards the front of the room. Some of you will move different ways to do that. Look up underneath your left arm. Good, 
Inhale back through center. See if you can take the left arm behind you, right arm to meet it, interlacing the fingers. Now, if you can't bring your hands together, you can use your strap and let your arms come wider so that you're working in the shoulder and not in your elbow. Breathing here. It's Friday. As you exhale, come on out through center, extend that left leg, and let's take the left hand to the right shin and open that leg out like a letter L. Right sits bones lifts, that's okay. And take a nice deep inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm gonna lean back my right shoulder, and I might bring the left elbow down. I might reach that right arm up and do some wrist circles. Breathing here. And then what I'm gonna do is circumduct my uh, right shoulder. So I'm gonna reach that arm overhead and behind me, making giant circles. I'm gonna go the other way. And then lengthen. Maybe you touch your foot, maybe you just reach the arm somewhere. It's all good. Check out the sky. With my inhale, I'm gonna reach that right arm up and over. And just step the right foot across for Ardha Matsyandrasana. You might keep the left leg extended. Maybe you fold it back. Just depends on your hips. Bring your right arm behind you. Left arm's gonna pull that knee towards your chest. Make sure you can ground down through your left big toe mound. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, twist. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Come out through center, take your hands behind you. Right foot to the floor, then the left. And see if you can have your hands facing out or even facing your sits bones, maybe facing your sits bones, whatever's more comfortable. I want you to extend the spine, so root down through your sits bones, root to rise, chest lifting up. Arha Porvo Tonasana, lengthen the tailbone towards the back of your knees, back of the head, or sorry, top of the head towards the wall behind you. Spread those inner shoulders so wide. And then as you exhale, come on back down. I'm going to reach the right leg long and Find your uh, double pigeon or sukhasana. So uh, left leg is on top of the right. If this doesn't work for your body, you're gonna bring the left shin in front. All right, feet are flexed. Breathing here. I'm gonna reach the left arm out, right arm to sky. Absorb those ribs into the body. Nice lateral stretch. Find your square. Maybe look up. Oh, this feels so good. And with your inhale, you're gonna lift up, bring the right arm behind you, left hand to interlace, finding chest expansion arms. Trying to sit as tall as you can. Drop the shoulders towards the earth as you reach your pinkies all the way up into the sky. As far as they'll go. And again, if it's better for your shoulders, let your hands come wide and use a strap. Good, as you exhale, see if you can bring the left arm underneath the right, drop the shoulders down, lift the elbows, draw the pinkies away. And as you exhale, come on forward. You might feel this with the left hip and uh, thigh meet. Are you staying with that nice, even breath? With your inhale, reach the arms forward and up. 
and as you exhale, I'm just gonna take that right hand to the left shin and open that leg out to the side. So my legs are like a letter L, right? Foot's forward, left toes are reaching out to the side. Sit up tall, find your twist. You can stay here. Maybe you're gonna bring that right elbow down and reach that left arm up. Do some wrist circles. And then giant arm circles. Circumducting that shoulder. It's a wonderful way to get into the shoulders. Go the other way. And maybe the arm extends to sky. Maybe you scoop that arm overhead. You might even find your foot. Not important. Look up at the sky. Check out the stars. And try to lengthen the torso. Lean back. Next, inhale, lift on up, and as you exhale, step that left foot across for Ardha Mati and Drasan. Maybe you fold the right heel back, left arm behind you, right arm's gonna draw that knee in. Sit up tall. In most of our yoga poses, we're really trying to get the spine as long as possible, even the ones that don't look like it. Yeah. Look over the left shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. Little counter stretch. Bring that left arm behind you. Point the fingers forward. Plant your feet. Arha Porvo Tonasan. Reach the top of the head towards the wall behind you. Breathing here. As you exhale, come all the way back. Maybe allow your sits bones to stay lifted. Maybe even try to lift the feet. I'm not gonna do that. And then come forward to all fours. Starting to find your cat cows. Nice and easy, warming up the spine. I'm gonna turn towards the side. Keep the arms straight. With each cat, really round the shoulders. So you're pushing the floor away, you're separating the shoulder blades. And with each inhale, really drop the belly and feel the shoulder blades move together as you keep the top of the shoulder away from the ear. Get back through center and reach that uh, left arm way out to the left and as you exhale thread the needle draw the arm through make some resistance walk your right hand forward and find your twist any variations you like here so if you're focused more on the shoulders maybe you stay as you are or you might find an internal rotation with that right arm take me into a half bun Spread the inner shoulders. Some of you might like to glide the right heel back and lift. Might maybe even reach for the back foot. Right hand comes next to your face. And come back up, keep the right leg extended and reach that left arm out. And reach the left arm forward. Breathing here. Turn the left thumb down, reach that arm back, and see if you can bend your right knee and kick that foot into the hand for tiger pose. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale, exhale, stick out your tongue, cross your eyes, lion's breath. One more time. Good, as you exhale, extend that right leg. Just reach it into a three-legged dog, turn the hip out, left hip, couple hip circles. Open that leg out to the side. <clears throat> Reach that foot away and see if you can bring the knees right underneath the hips. You're gonna reach the right arm out to the side. Thread the needle, draw that arm through. Walk your left arm forward and lean back. Breathing here. Good. 
Left arm might reach up and behind you for a half bind if that's interesting. Maybe extend the left leg. Maybe lift it, you can turn the toes out. You might even reach for that back foot. Okay, just opening up the body. I like to take my time to open up. Extend the leg, take the left hand next to your face. Reach the right arm out to the side and then forward extend your left heel if it's not. Right, uh, straight left arm. And then turn that right thumb down. You're gonna reach that arm back. Kick that foot into the hand for a tighter pose. Breathing here, stick out your tongue, cross your eyes, lines breath. One more time. Uh, gently. Take the right hand down, extend that left leg, three-legged dog. Turn those right toes out, bend the knee. Hip circles, go the opposite way. Look over under your left arm. Extend that leg. Belly to spine, shoulders over the wrists. Plank pose, if you need to shimmy the feet, please do that. And then push the floor away. You can round the shoulders, high plank. Pull the hands and feet towards each other, plank. One more time. Regular plank, come all the way down through Chaturanga Dandasana, all the way to the earth. Breathing here. I'm gonna reach my right arm out to the right. It's my favorite shoulder stretch. And bring the left foot to the floor behind me. Lots of variations in this pose as well. Some people like to bring both feet to the floor. Some people like to reach for the, um, with the opposite arm. If you have very open shoulders, that might be accessible to you. I don't, and that's just uh, the construction of my bone structure. Come through center, reach the left arm out to the left. I'm on the middle of my mat and take my hands by my low ribs. Keep the belly lifting, finding a cobra pose, maybe upward facing dog, straight arms and legs, knees lifted. Exhale down dog. Shake your head, yes and no, find your pose. Lengthen all four sides of your waist. Reach that right leg straight behind you. And as you exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat. So you're coming to a standing split at the back of the mat. And then just make sure you don't have glass there. And snuggle your right foot behind the left for a runner's uh, stretch. Nice deep inhale, lengthen all four sides of your waist. Exhale, fold. And with your next inhale, do wrist circles as you come all the way up, forward vastasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Take your hands down by your side. And take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, let's bring the left arm behind your right arm forward. Root into that right foot and bend your left knee, dancing Shiva. I'm gonna take my hand to my low back because I'm touching the glass. Look back at your left fingertips if your arm is extended. And as I exhale, I'm gonna look forward and I'm gonna sneak my left arm behind the shoulder blades, right arm up, pat myself on the back. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Sorry, I'm just gonna move forward on my mat. And one more breath. Let your hands unwind, you're gonna walk it out to a three-legged jaw. Left leg's extending back. And as you exhale, come on forward and step that left foot up. 
Open up into a simple twist. And once again, circumduct the shoulder, the left arm's doing giant circles. As you exhale, bring the hand down, bring the right, knee, right knee down, reach the toes away. And take your hands to your thigh. You're gonna breathe into the back of the body. Sink those hips. Do that a couple times, just keeping it with your breath. I'm going to take the hands to interlace behind me so my thumbs to lengthen the tailbone and a nice chest expansion on. Breathing here. Use the shoulder blades to lift the heart. And try not to just dump your head back, draw your chin in. As you exhale, come on forward. Ardha Hanumanasana, toes to sky. Breathing here. Let the spine be long. Plant the palms. All right, bend into that left knee. You're gonna tuck your toes, reach the right heel back. And take it through a vinyasa of your choice. Exhale, down dog, breathing here. Maybe reach that left leg straight back. And walk your hands to the back mat. Glasses right there. Walk your hands in as close as you can. And then snuggle, try to keep the legs straight. Snuggle, snuggle that left foot behind the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Try to bring the weight towards the ball of your foot as you come on up. Or the stops. Exhale, samastihi. Find a moment, connect to your breath. Then with your inhale, right arm behind you, left arm forward, bring your weight to the left foot, lift your right knee. Dancing Shiva, look back at your fingertips, hopefully you're not touching glass behind you. And as you exhale, look forward. You're going to sneak that right hand behind the shoulder blades, left palm up, pat yourself in the back. So uh, go Mukhasana arms. Inhale here as you exhale, Virabhadrasana three. I'm just going to go forward so I can find the pulse. I'm going to unwind the arms. And step that right foot up right next to my thumb. Come on to my fingertips. Let the left knee come down. Reach those toes away. Take the hands to the thigh. and Breathe into the back of the body. Getting nice and long. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. You want to feel this in the front of your hip flexor. Next inhale, I'm going to lift up. Just going to take the hands to interlace behind me. Try to make it non-dominant. Lengthen your low back as you use the shoulder blades to lift the heart. Scoop your belly. Opening up that heart. Crown of the head reaching straight towards the wall behind you. Keep the heart opening as you roll over that front thigh. Then let the fingers go. Draw yourself back. Ardha Hanumanasana. Notice if your shoulders are rounding, mine usually do. I want to lengthen the front of the body. Good as you exhale, bring that foot down, plant your palms. And take it through a vinyasa of your choice. Exhale, down dog. Breathing here. Let your feet come a little bit wider, maybe as wide as your mat. Try to keep the spine nice and long. Keep reaching your sits bones back as you walk your hands out. And then we're going to play with the sits bones a little bit. Energetically separate your sits bones. 
and drop your chest to the floor. Really reach down through your heels. So you feel the back of the body. And then energetically draw your sits bones together and reach your hands forward a little more. All right, some of you, top of the head might come down, maybe even the forehead. Some of you might even get your nose down. Come on back to down dog, regular. And reach that right leg back. Walk your hands in. Try to keep that right leg straight. Maybe even find a standing split. And as you exhale, snuggle that right foot behind the left all the way up. Ward Vastasan, do your wrist circles. As you exhale, left arm behind, right arm forward, dancing Shiva, any variation. Maybe look back at your fingertips. Look forward. Try to keep that left leg extended as you sneak the left arm up the back of the body, right arm pat yourself on the back. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. A little too close to the glass. Can you hear it? Plant your palms. And as you exhale, I'm gonna step that left foot up. Come onto your fingertips. Let the right knee come down, reach those toes away. Hands to the thigh, breathe into the back of the body. Interlace the fingers behind you. Use your thumbs to lengthen the tailbone. Open the heart, breathing here. Maybe keep that right hand on the leg and extend that left arm up and overhead. And as you exhale, come on forward. Take it through a vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Breathing here. Keep your head, yes or no. Reach that right leg back. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Uh, sorry, left leg. Get your left leg back. Walk your hands to the back of the mat, maybe finding a standing split. Try to keep that extended leg straight. And as you exhale, sneak that left foot behind the right, coming all the way up. Ord Vastasan. Exhale, dancing Shiva, any variation. Look back at your right fingertips. Inhale, you're gonna look forward, keep your right leg extended. See if you can sneak the right arm between the shoulder blades, left arm up, pat yourself in the back. And as you exhale, here we're dropping a three. Hopefully you're going straight into it. And let your hands come down. Draw your right knee in, step it up next to your thumb. Onto your fingertips, let the left knee come down to reach those toes away. Take your hands to the right leg. I'm going to breathe into the back of the body. Sink it down. Interlace the hands behind you. Non-dominant index finger on top. Lengthen the low back and lift the heart. Keep drawing your belly in. Maybe let the left arm reach behind the leg. Right arm reaches up and over. And then as you exhale, Come on down through a vinyasa of your choice. Exhale, down, down. Breathing here. I'm gonna try and draw forward towards the front of my mat as much as I can so I don't keep hitting the glass door. All right, last round. Reach that right leg behind you. Walk your hands in, standing split. Exhale, snuggle the right ankle behind the left as you come to stand. Lifting on up, do your wrist circles. Inhale in here. Exhale, open up, dancing Shiva. 
back at those left fingertips. Try to keep the spine long. Look forward. Let the left leg stay lifted. Left arm behind, right arm up. Pat yourself in the back. Inhale here as you exhale. Virabhadrasana three, almost. Reaching forward, keep the belly in, right? Good, as you exhale, bring those hands down. Walk it out to a downward facing dog. And then draw that left knee up right next to your thumb. I'm gonna bring the right knee down, reach those toes away. Take the hands to the thigh. Breathe into the back of the body. All right, you might play with that. Maybe interlacing the fingers. Scoop your belly in. Finding that nice back bend. Maybe you let the right hand find somewhere on the back of the leg. Reach that left arm up and over. Try to square the chest towards the sky. As you exhale, come on forward. Ardhani Manasana. Plant that left foot, take it through Vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Float that left leg to sky. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Standing split. As you exhale, snuggle that left foot behind the right. Come all the way up. Or to Stasana. Inhale here as you exhale, dancing Shiva. Any variation. Come back to the right fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Keep that right leg lifted as much as you can. And then bring the right arm behind you, left arm up and over. Breathing here. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Try to do it smooth and not have to step forward like I am. Inhale in here as you exhale. Walk your hands out for a downward facing dog. Step that right foot up next to your thumb. Come on to your fingertips. Bring that left knee down. Find your low lunge. You might stick with that. You might just open the psoas by sinking the hips. You might interlace the fingers behind you. Lengthen your tailbone. Open that heart. Breathing here. Maybe let your left hand find somewhere on the leg. Reach that right arm up and over. Try to bring the left ribs towards the sky a little bit. And as you exhale, over that front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Keep the front body long. Bring the right foot down. Take it through a vinyasa of your choice. Exhale, down dog. Energy towards your heels. You can play around with that. Work with the sits bones. Try to separate the sits bones. See how that feels. Maybe drop your chest a little more. And then energetically draw your sits bones together. And see if that engages, uh, makes the torso longer. And maybe you can reach your tailbone towards your heels here. Keep your head just a no. Inhale, lift the heels, roll over the toes, child's pose. Jumping back, just taking a moment. Walk your hands forward. Bring the um, left hand to the midline, right arm on top, and see if you can push down and pull back. Finding those outer lats. Keep reaching the sits bones back. Let all four sides of the waist get as long as they can be. Fingers sneaking forward. And then upline walk your hands over to the right. Keep your arms shoulder distance for this. Push the floor away with the right hand and pull with the left. 
You might just move your um, hips a little bit, especially that left hip. See if you can get into that lower lat even. Back through center. Left hand down, right arm on top. Push down, pull back. Sneak those arms forward, reach your sits bones back. Wrap your triceps down. And walk your hands over to the left, arm shoulder distance. So my arms are like a tree frog. I'm gonna push the floor away with the left hand and pull with the right. So my right side body is so stretchy. Be mindful that your ear isn't knocking into your right arm. Try to keep the neck even. Okay, come on back to center. I'm gonna lock my hands in. Your hands right underneath your shoulders. Round and then pull forward. I'm just gonna jump to a squat. Knees and toes in the same line. Okay, back of my hands together. And I'm going to take a nice deep inhale here. And as I exhale, I'm going to bring the right ribs towards the left. I'm going to do that one more time. And maybe as I do that, my right shoulder comes inside my right knee. And then I'm going to reach that hand across the shin and down. I'm going to take the left hand to my inner knee and lean back, lean back, lean back. This might be enough for me. If it's interesting, I might extend the left arm and I might even fold my hands back, finding a bind and trying to straighten the arms. Spread the inner shoulders, let the spine get tall. Good, exhale, I'm gonna come back through center. I'm just gonna turn so that you can see this from the front. I might stay here. If I don't like squats, I'm gonna sit on a block and then I'll like them. Back of the hands together, nice deep inhale, and as I exhale, left ribs towards the right. Maybe enough that my shoulder comes inside. I might reach that hand across, and I might take the right hand to the inner knee, opening shoulders. Get nice and wide across here. Maybe extend the right arm, maybe even turn the palms up. Let's see if you can find a clasp. Trying to straighten the arms as you lean back. Keep your breath nice and even. Good, then as I exhale, I'm gonna unwind, plant my palms. I'm gonna turn the toes in, lift the heels, fitting the knees into the armpits. Naturally, the shoulders round here. And that feels really good to me. I can get my knees higher, and then I'm gonna extend the sternum forward, crane or crow pose. Try to keep the arms straight and nice and sweet. Just bring your feet down and fold in. Shake your head just to know. I take my strap. I'm gonna make sure I have a metal part in my hand. And I'm actually gonna wrap that around. And then with my inhale, I'm gonna come all the way up to stand. You can micro bend the knees if you need to, whatever you need to do. And I want my strap taut or my necktie. I don't really care so much about that side, but if you really want to, you can roll that in as well. All right, so nice and taut. And I want to try and keep my wrist straight. So the tendency is for the wrist to fold in. I want to keep it nice and long in here, okay? If you can, all right, that's kind of nitpicky, but feet hip distance, lengthen your tailbone. We're gonna do something called flossing the shoulders. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. So I'm going to start arms straight forward. And with my inhale, I'm going to reach the arms overhead and behind me. I want to keep the arms straight. So if I can't do that, if my arms are like uh, bending, right? Like, let me come in too close. My arms are bending. I can't keep them going like this. You see that? 
Then I'm gonna let my hand come a little wider. If you have a bun, you might hit it. That's okay. And I, and I wanna keep the back of the body nice and long, so I'm not, not it. I wanna keep this long, reaching up and overhead. Good, a few times. You probably find some spots in your shoulders that are like, wow, spend a little extra time there. Right, maybe, you know, we all have spots that are a little tight, just like the neck. And then if you're feeling a little more open, you can walk your hand in and bring your arms closer together. And that might change. And you might find those spots. Good. Maybe that's enough. Another variation, with my arms overhead, I'm gonna reach my right arm up and turn my left back of the hand towards the strap. And I'm gonna have an up and down floss, and this is more like a regular floss going in between your teeth, right? People with very open shoulders find this very helpful sometimes. I kind of find it a waste of time personally, but your body might be different than mine. I'm gonna come back through center and I'm gonna take that the other way. So when the arms are kind of up or right behind me, I'm gonna reach the left arm up, turn my, I'm internally rotating that right arm. So I'm gonna turn the back of the hand in and kind of hook the strap to the back of the hand. And breathe here, back and forth. Let me know in the comments if that worked for you. Come back through center, and then we're just gonna open up um, the top of the body. So from the waist down, I want you very still, right? Keep rooting your feet into the floor. Everything from the waist down is your root system. And then your rise is from the ribs up, all right? Arms overhead, I'm gonna reach over, absorb those left ribs in, reaching over to the right. Lengthen your tailbone, finding that nice heart opening. Going over to the left and forward. This is all about isolating the upper body. It is not about bringing your hips with you. Right. And then go the other way. This is why you're holding on to the metal part so it doesn't swing around and smack you in the face. Don't want that. Good, come on back to center. And we're gonna do my favorite breath work, which is called uh, Nowly. We're gonna set up a little bit. Since we're standing at the front of the mat, it's a nice way to massage your internal organs. Um, I'm a mom, so you're gonna see my jelly belly. You can keep your clothes on. I'm gonna turn my pants down. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna lift my thing up so you can see the belly and I'm gonna come to you like a catcher, right? Take a couple of dry breaths, letting your breath be like a wave. And then on my third exhale, I'm really gonna hold the breath out and draw my chin in and up. I'm gonna pull the belly into the spine repeatedly. When you need to inhale, you're gonna stop and inhale and then come on up to stand. And you're just gonna move your hips to the right and then to the left. And then to the right and to the left. All right, and we're just gonna take that same thing, that same breath work, adding the hip rotation. Okay, a um, couple contraindications to any pranayama work. If you're pregnant, not gonna do this. If you are prone to dizziness, not gonna do this. You don't need to hold your breath out um, if it doesn't feel good. And if you just ate a big meal in the last like few hours, you don't need to do this because you've got your full belly, so. All right, a couple nice Ujjayi breaths setting up. 
preparatory breaths. When the body's empty of breath, you're going to draw your chin in and up. Breathe, breathe. Come on up. Just gonna take it to the other side. So you're gonna do your hip circle, starting with the other hip first. Like anything else, one side's gonna be easier than the other, even this. Coming back through center. You ready? Come on up. Let it go. Take a couple recovery breaths. Like anything else, some days are better than others. And come back up to the top of the mat. Make sure you can breathe nice and easy. Get that sweet, easy breath that you had when you were in your seat at the beginning of class. Big toes to touch if that's comfortable. If not, you can have your feet hip distance. And then sink the hips as you bend the knees, Utkatasana. Take the right arm under the left. And sit back. Nice deep inhale here. Bring the weight into the heels, weight into the ball of the foot. Lift your heels, finding your balance. You can stay here. If you want, you can bring your elbows to the left, look right. Back through center, elbows to the right, look left. Back through center. Bring the heels back down. And as you exhale, you're gonna twist. You're gonna bring that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Unwind your hands and sit low, lean back. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here, look down. You're gonna kick your butt with your right heel and step it to the back of the mat. And maybe you can bring that right arm down, left arm to sky. You might turn your hand behind you, see if you can find a half bind. And if it's interesting, you can reach that right arm underneath. And see if you can find that full bind. Straighten the arms, lean back through your left shoulder blade. Good. As you exhale, look down. You might stay here. You might straighten that uh, left leg and see if you can lift the right leg nice and high. And then as you exhale, unwind. Try to keep your balance. Ground down to the big toe mound. Hands out to the side. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Look up at your fingertips. Inhale, lift that right leg higher, and just reach it out. Your Vajrasana two. Drop the shoulders, plug the elbow into the socket. Let's reverse your warrior. Rooted to the uh, right foot, straighten that left leg. Utita Trikonasana, just reach it out. Right arm up and over. Exhale. Frame that front foot. Plant your palms, see if you can flex your left toes and reach that leg back, three-legged dog. You might stay here, you might bring your forearms to the floor for a three-legged dolphin. Chest towards the thighs. Straighten the arms. And as you exhale, just step that left foot up, standing split. And come all the way up to stand. Inhale here. 
as you exhale, sink the hips as you bend the knees, left arm under the right. Get nice and low. Bring your weight into the heels, weight into the ball of the foot, lift your heels. Maybe you stay here. Roll those inner thighs down, firm your outer hips. If it's interesting, elbows right, look left, back through center. Elbows left, look right, back through center. Bring the heels down, find your twist. Unwind your arms. Lean back with your right shoulder blade. A lot, get those hips low. Look down, kick your butt with your left heel and step that foot back. You might stay here. Maybe let the left arm down, right arm to sky. Maybe you reach around for a bound. Tita Parvritza Parsvakonasana. Straighten the arms. Maybe look up. As you exhale, look down for balance. I'm going to step that left foot in, straighten the right leg, and reach that left leg back. Inhale, unwind. Make sure you're grounding down to that right big toe mound. That's pretty hard, especially when you're talking. And as you exhale, open up Ardha Chandrasana. Breathe in here. Lift that left leg higher. Put it back, Virya Vajrasana. Drop the shoulders. Reverse warrior, root into that left foot, straighten the right leg, and reach it out, your Tita Trikonasana. Left arm up and over. As you exhale, bring that hand down. And breathe here. Plant your palms, three legged dog. Maybe bring those forearms down. For three legged dolphin. Chest to the thighs. Wrap your inner wrist towards the floor. Then push into your hands as you exhale. Right foot steps up. Fear uh, of three if you want. Standing split if you want. Come on up to snap. Breathe in here. I'm going to add on to that a little bit. Sink the hips as you bend the knees. Right arm under the left. And breathe here. Maybe find a balance. Balance any way. If you want to challenge the balance, you can play with your gaze and your elbow. Exhale, bring the heels down. You're going to let that right elbow come to the outside of the left knee and lean back with your shoulder blade. Breathing here. Maybe keep the gaze lifted. Stay even with your breath. Kick your butt with your right heel. Step it back. Keep leaning back. And maybe if you open up, maybe you open into that bind. Try to straighten the arms. You can stay here. Ground down a lot through your left big toe mound and outer heel. Straighten that left leg and maybe extend the right leg back. Gently release and unwind. Reach those arms out to the side. Oh, that transition's hard. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. All right, Ashandra Maybe Chapasana variation, bending that right knee, kicking the foot into the hand. Load it back, Virabhadrasana two. Reverse your warrior. Good, as you exhale, Uttita Trikonasana. Reach that right arm up and over. And as you exhale, Ekapada Adho Mukha Maybe bring the forearms down for a dolphin. Keep those inner shoulders opening. Plug your right leg bone into the socket and reach up with your left toes. And just see if you can lift. 
and maybe your heart's feeling pretty open, you can find any variation you like here, right? Maybe you're just reaching straight up. Maybe and start to work towards that hollow back. And then as you exhale, come on down, take a child's pose. I don't know what my feet were doing there. Let your palms come on forward. Let's walk your hands out for puppy. Forehead, tip of the nose, chest and chin, some of you. Come on to your fingertips. And walk your hands in. And plant your palms, lift the hips up and back. Bring your feet forward any way you want. Small steps are awesome. Big steps are awesome. Maybe. Inverting. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Sink the hips as you bend the knees. Or Katasana coming all the way up. Or Vastasana. Exhale, Samastiki. Okay. Left arm under right. Sink the hips as you bend the knees. Utkatasana with Garudasana arms. Nice deep inhale here. Maybe you're going to lift the heels, and you can play with the balance any way that you want. Exhale, come on down. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Opening up, leaning back. Maybe you keep your gaze towards the sky and stay connected to breath to help you balance. In here, as in anything else. Step that left leg back. You might open up your twist. You might reach around for that bind. If you find your belly button with your fingertips, you can probably find that. Straightening the arms. Look up. Maybe straighten that right leg. See if you can lift the left leg. Unwind. Reach those arms out to the side. And as you exhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe Chapasana variation. Kicking the foot into the hand. Try to keep looking up. Float it back, Virabhadrasana two. Left arm down, right arm to sky. Breathing here, reverse warrior, but part of Virabhadrasana. Exhale, T to Trikonasana. Bring the hand down. Flex that right foot and reach that leg back. Ekapada Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maybe forearms down for dolphin. Keep reaching up with the right toe as you plug that left leg bone into the socket. Maybe you're so nice and smooth, you can just lift up, push your forearms into the floor, draw your chest through the upper arms. And any variations you like here. Maybe look at the sky. Maybe play with the... Um, uh, scorpion if you prefer. Maybe you find your hollow back. Try to bring the toes towards your nose as you drop the butt behind you. Oh. Coming on down. Can't see where my feet were or feel it. Child's pose. Balasana.
Walk your hands in. Bring those inner thighs together. How am I doing on time? 105. Huh. All right. So we can play with that one more time. Um, I don't really have a wall available in this space to use because I have pictures on it. Um, but if you have a wall and you want to play with pinch and myrasana that way, you want to be about at least 18 inches away from the wall. A um, couple tricks are, let's see, my forearms down, elbows right under the shoulders, right? So I don't want them too wide and I don't want them too close in. I want them right under the shoulders. Roll the inner wrist down and one way that you can find to do that is to turn the palms up like you're playing hot hands and then just turn the palms down. So that's gonna make a little traction on the outside of your forearm. It's gonna give you a little bit of an idea, bring some energy towards the thumb so you can roll that inner wrist down. Your shoulders should be pretty open, but if they're still tight, your thumbs might come together. That's fine. Don't fight it, All right? And tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Reach your favorite leg to sky. Chest is drawing towards the standing leg thigh. Keep reaching up through the big toe of the extended lifted leg. And nice and light. Just try to lift. Right. Now if you just want Pinchamayarasana, reach the heels and try to take the uh, banana out of your back. If you want to play with any other variation, go ahead and do that. This one's my favorite. Uh, flying scorpion. But then, I like hollow back too. It's hard to negotiate the feet. I'll look at this later and see what I did. All right, breathing here. So, try each side. Make sure you're switching both sides. And then we'll stretch out the neck again after side two. Now set yourself up. Now if you're working at a wall, you don't want to be too close because your feet can slam into it and that will go into your low back and that really doesn't feel good. So you want to work very, um, a little further away. People with more open shoulders, this pose is hard to find because it's hard to find the stability. So you really wanna engage your core a lot. Um, really use the muscles. And the opposite for me, that's kind of easier. It's harder for me to find the flexibility. So I'm gonna reach up through my left big toe, root down through my right foot, and just see if I can plug that right leg bone into the socket. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Walk your hands in. Give me an inverted back bend any day. Um, I'm gonna sit on my shins. And again, if you don't like this, you can take a block or a book and sit on that. A little more comfortable. One hand underneath the other and just start to breathe. And I'm gonna sit up as tall as I can and I'm just gonna do some neck circles. Keep the shoulders down. You can start any side you want. You don't need to tilt your head back. 
It's not really good for your neck, and in fact, it can do things like give you a headache, right? Because you can cut the air off from your cervical spine. So I'm just gonna go to the side and forward. my shoulders a little shimmy. And drop the right ear off to the right, reach the left arm out, and just see if I can find the top of the ear with my left hand, just getting a little more into that. And come back through center, see if it feels different than before class. Look over the right shoulder, chin to the shoulder, come down across, and then take it to the other side, drop the shoulders down, I'm gonna drop the left ear off to the left, reach the right arm out. See if I can find my top of the ear with the left hand. Sit up nice and tall. And does it feel different? Hopefully it feels a little more open. Lifting on up, I'm gonna look over the left shoulder. Bring the chin down and go across. Just give yourself a shimmy. I think just for time's sake, um, the person who requested this class is used to a 75 minute class, so I'm gonna try and end here. I'm push down with my hands, draw my uh, thighs into my chest. Just reach forward. Reach the heels out, and as I exhale, I'm gonna roll it down one vertebra at a time. Ankles underneath the knees, and we already did a lot of back bends through the practice, so I'm not going to do any more. You can if you want. Drop the knees off to the right and then to the left. Come back through center. I'm going to bring the right knee over the left. Hips go to the right, knees go to the left, or any other twist that you like. Spider web underneath my bowl thing here. And come on back through center. I'm just gonna switch that up, dropping the knees to the left and then to the right. Back through center. I'm gonna bring the left knee over the right, bring the hips left, knees right. Now I'm gonna jump. Come back through center. Anything else you want to do before the end of your practice, feel free to do that. Maybe row your boat if you're opening the hips a little bit. And then set yourself up for your final relaxation. Let the breath go. Let the practice go.
wherever you are in your breath cycle, begin to bring some awareness back to the breath, drawing a nice deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. Start to move the fingers and toes, do some wrist and ankle circles, reaching out through the arms and legs. Exhale, draw your knees to your chest. Maybe pick a side of the body to roll onto. Make your way on up to a nice, comfortable, seated position. Might want to spend a little more time in Shavasana, actually. And sitting up nice and tall. If you like to sit on something, you can grab that. Just take a few minutes to be still. Finding a nice, comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. I'm going to end with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, and perfect peace. And just one Om. Um, you're welcome to join in or not. Or maybe just keep meditating for a while. Nice deep inhale. Om Shanti 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 sharing some time with me today and I hope it felt good and that you have a beautiful day. Happy Friday. Thanks, Jogans.